the appropriate decision. Because this is where you come from, yeah. law enforcement yes. and, and you know, top cop is where yeah. you come from. I want to ask about something that you wrote in a 2009 book, okay. uh, which is, if we take a show of hands of those who would like to see more police officers on the streets, mine would shoot up. And then in June of this year, you said to the New York Times, it is status quo thinking to believe that putting more police on the streets creates more safety. Uh, that's wrong. So my question for you now, in retrospect, looking at your time as, uh, as DA and as Attorney General of, of California through the lens of 2020, did you help contribute to what you describe as a status quo thinking that uh, more police equals more safety? I am very clear that, that we have, have got to, in America, reimagine how we are accomplishing public safety. And what I believe now and what I believed then remains true and consistent, which is if you look at the communities that um, have no or very little police presence as compared to those who have a high degree of police presence, you will see stark differences. And one of them is this. If you go into any upper class suburb in America, you will not see police presence, but what you will see are well-funded public schools, high rates of home ownership, small businesses that have access to capital. You'll see families who have jobs where they don't have to worry about getting to the end of the month and feeding their children. And so if we want to create safe communities, one of the smartest ways we can do that is invest in the health of those communities because healthy communities are safe communities. Would your hands still shoot up if somebody asked if you would want more, uh, more police officers on your streets? What I would say now is what I would say then, which is I want to make sure that if a woman is raped, a child is molested, or one human being murders another human being, that there will be a police officer that responds to that case and that there will be accountability and consequence for the offender. Yes. Attorney General William Barr 